Yasas, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Miss Anikta, and we're back with the Stanley Parable, and back again is Magda! Hey! So Magda's going to begin again. We got one ending. Yep. <laughs> we're going to try to escape the, um, or leave the building. Yes. If that's even, is it even possible? I cannot say anything. I know nothing. I don't know. I don't think it's possible. I think, I think this game is just kind of a comment that we're just living in a society where this is a story. Work and work and work and work and then we just die. That's gruesome. Well, you know. It's <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, so now you know. I can't do anything here. That's follow, get, get fo out, out. <laughs> follow the narrator. All these co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We both know that's not what happened. <laughs> no. Okay, so the first... When Here's Stanley the first came thing. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I went to this one, so we're gonna go... We're gonna listen and go to the door on the left. Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. Anything up in here? No. Mm -hmm. gonna play. Nothing's gonna pop out, you sure? I am very sure. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let's see. Meeting room. Meeting schedule. Rest in peace. Franz. Franz, Franz. That might be someone who worked on the game. Oh. Employee. 431 gym. What, what, what number are we? 427, I think. Okay. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Even though everything here looks exactly the same. Fire, fi fire paper guy. <laughs> Who moves my desk? Please keep targets off the topics. Not efficient. Get Chris out of the brew closet? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Um, hire somebody to fire paper guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's see what this one says. Buy quarterly review. But I think that's a stupid idea. Work hard, hard work. Work harder, hard worker. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, a of, lot of percent. <laughs> teenagers. And this one says, "What do people want? Things, money, more money." Things, but with money to get more things. <laughs> Talk less. Do not do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no exception. Of, geez. Don't, don't get, get fired. fired. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Captain Obvious. Yes. And okay, well. All right, time to go to the boss's office. Oh god. Oh my god. Is Chris in there? <laughs> Demi, look for me. Chris is not in there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, oh, but there was nothing <laughs> here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay, they're not gonna lock me out in? No. Okay. Coming to a down. staircase, Stanley but... walked upstairs to his boss's office. So you can either go up or down. We're gonna go up. So we're going completely... Yeah, this time we're listening. To him. We're listening, okay. Next time we will... Where am I supposed to go with this? Executive, Executive bathroom. Oh, that's a fancy bathroom. Yeah. That's only just the door on the outside. Okay. Well, what's the point of a broom closet? Yeah. Stepping into his manager's part, office, part of Stanley of was once again eggs. stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> um, what do you think I should do? Well, we gotta find some key code and put 2845 in there. 
Where's that? Um... Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I'm looking. Trying to input Let's anything on the oh, device yeah. was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. So, do I have something to find something first? Or do no. I just put in 2845? No, you just put in the code. Okay. 2 8 <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by oh, sheer no. luck. Okay. <laughs> he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Uh -huh. What is this place? No. <laughs> Pop out I am table. very <laughs> sure, Magda. I think this might be like the fifth or sixth time you asked me that. Loading. Okay, so we're not dead. That's good. <laughs> that is going good. Let's see how this ending will be for young Stanley. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. So we'll find out what's going on then. We might find out what's going on. Or we might not. Or we might not. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, oh we could go there. There are multiple routes that you can take. Um, yeah. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? You could have money to actually afford a room like this. <laughs> Just logistically speaking. Ooh, so I press. What's this? Oh, can I go up to here? I don't think you can do anything with them. Okay. Just press the security camera button. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where Perfect. freedom meant nothing. <laughs> you are being watched the whole time. You know, I think we're all just being watched all the time. Yeah, it's true. Social medias, yeah. just being out on the street. Um, does that show me? This mind elevator. control facility, it was too horrible to believe <laughs> it couldn't be true. <laughs> Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Can you imagine that if someone was like mind controlling you? No. He refused you, like, all this to believe stuff. it. He and you couldn't finally come to the realization it. of it. His own life in someone it's else's kind of like control? The, uh, the Never. Yeah, the Truman Show, yeah. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Can you imagine though, like, he truly spent if your his life was a Truman life Show and everyone was just an actor in it, the world? and everything you knew was a lie? Do you know there's an actual mental disorder? But here was the proof. Um, the heart of the of operation. The Controls and labeled with emotions. They happy, are in their own or sad, show or content. Their, or walking, their eating, their eating oh working. Yeah. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle oh. the controls once and for all. How? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm beeping and booping. I'm beeping and booping. Okay, let's go. I think just more like computer monitors. Probably up here? Yeah. I think you have to go in that room first. Yeah. I don't know. So in this 
version, I'm destroying the whole thing? Yes. So far, it looks that so way. So far, yeah. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So what do you do? Turn the power on or off? So if I turn the power on, the mind controls go on. Yes. Let's turn it off. Let's this one, we're following... We're following the, um... The narrator. Yes. And I stuck back in my <laughs> office. I would be so angry <laughs> if I was back in my office. Look around. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Let's keep it up here. Was it over? No. <laughs> yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I, but I'm as still sunlight like, struggled yeah. into the happen. chamber, he Jump. realized Jump. none of this mattered to well, him. Gonna open up all the way. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Aww. Perhaps his goal Look had up. not been to understand, but to let go. No it. longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was yeah. happy. What happened to all your co-workers? They ditched me. <laughs> ditched you? Or they were... Or they were being held prisoner? Or well, they were killed? In the other choices, would we find out what happened to them? I think so. Okay. And so I'm back here again. Ah, you made it. So what can I do now? Um... All of his co workers were gone. Oh, what could it mean? That's Stanley different... decided to go to the meeting room. I'm Perhaps he had room. simply missed a yeah, memo. Yeah, you are in a different room. That's weird. This might be an update to the game because I don't remember seeing this. I guess I have to go through here. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like a shortcut. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What should we do? Should we stop the game? Okay. Here? Well, yeah, we'll stop the game now, and then we will play the rest in another episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Oh! No, that's okay. Right. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel in order to see more content. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Yes, us. Bye.